What do you see? Okay, so we are going with a furniture palette, which we don't often go with, but I'm feeling good about this one because it has a lot of the Homery brand, which has a really funky, cool furniture line. So we're also going to be building these, staging them in our home for a higher profit, and then we can also review them on Amazon and make that sweet commission. a tall one. Where'd you go? We're at your favorite place in the world, the auction house. We just bought a pallet from GRP. We were going to go home and open it, but I was like, ooh, I have some auction stuff to pick up also. She is really good at auctions, so <laughs> I tolerate it. <laughs> I make money. I buy stuff for super cheap and I sell it on Facebook Marketplace all the time. So we are here at the auction house to pick up my finds for the week and then I'm going to go home, review those for Amazon and then sell them. So let's go pick up some auction finds. What do you think of my treasures? Love it. <laughs> stuff to the pile. <laughs> Bunch of rednecks. <laughs> Before we get any further into the video, we wanted to talk about today's video sponsor, Drio. So it is beautiful in springtime in Michigan, but that also means allergy season. Uh, there's pollen absolutely everywhere outside and it is absolutely miserable for those of us who have allergies. Thankfully, we have an indoor haven now with our Drio air purifier tower fan. This fan is a dual purpose and dual motor air purifier and tower fan. So it has the HEPA air purifier on the bottom and the tower fan on top, and it is powerful. But my favorite part about it is how quiet it is. Because I have a sleeping newborn, and I also just don't like loud things in my house all the time. It is so, so quiet. We're gonna demonstrate it for you. And I'm so happy to know that our air is being cleaned all the time. We have dogs and then our sliders are constantly being opened with the pollen coming in and out. So I love having this fan knowing that I'm breathing in good quality air and that my kids are too. All right, so let's get into some of the features of this awesome air purifier tower fan. Like I said earlier, there's two different motors so you can control the um, air purification separately from the fan. So right now, uh, this is your purification level. I can turn it to auto, which is what I love to do. And then right now, just the fan is on. And if my air quality gets bad, then the purifier will automatically kick on. So um, that's kind of nice. That saves your you know, filter life a little bit, and it only comes on when it needs to. If you burn dinner and you have tons of smoke in the air, or you open the slider and tons of pollen blows in, um, it'll automatically kick on with the automatic mode. So that's my favorite with that. You can set it to oscillate up to 120 degrees, which is a uh, quite large range of motion. And one of my favorite features about this purifier fan is that it's actually a smart purifier fan. So it has this really handy app. Um, you can control it on and off here. See all your settings. If your purifier and your fan is working, your current air quality, uh, the temperature in the room, the filter life, and you can even set this thing on a schedule. Uh, so if you wanted to come on or off at a certain time, uh, you can do that here as well. So uh, really a lot of different customization options and so the app is really helpful to have. All right, so one of the most impressive things to me about this fan is how quiet it is. All right, now it's on nine. I'm gonna turn all the way up to 12, the highest setting. Uh, and you can tell, you know, you can definitely hear it, but compared to like for how much wind is coming out of this thing, it's actually extremely quiet. But then when you turn it to one, which is the lowest setting, it's like a light breeze and you can hardly even hear it. So it's extremely quiet. Uh, but Sarah's going to demonstrate how powerful this thing is. <laughs> All right, show them the power. All right, I'm going to turn on full blast here. It's pretty good. Uh... <laughs> That's the power right there. And you can control this thing with Amazon Alexa or Google Home. So this is basically like the Dyson air purifier cooler but for half the price. So um, it's one of the best selling purifiers on Amazon. Uh, you should definitely check it out. So there's actually a really special deal going on with this fan right now. If you click the link below, or we'll put a QR code on the screen if you're watching on TV, uh, you can go on over and use our code and get $39 off. So uh, that's a really great deal. Uh, be sure to click on that if you want more information. All right, let's get back into the video. We just paid $800 for this giant pallet of Amazon designer furniture. So let's open it up and see what's inside. While we were waiting at the uh, auction house, I got a little bored and I shredded this package open. 
Sarah did not appreciate because this is going to be an eBay find. Yep. We, Ooh! <laughs> we got a wall mounted sink. Bathroom sink fixture. Brass. Like brass, yeah. <gasps> Which we Gorgeous. always sell that stuff good on eBay, but if you're that a good modern. plumber, you know a good plumber, you can wall mount your sink and it's very fancy. Love it. So, that's a good first item. Good eBay. Sorry about the box. Here you go. All right. Cut her open. All the way down? Yep. All right, pass them down. Okay, it's so heavy. You got it. Can you get that Muscles. one? Muscles. I got the camera in my hands. Well, okay. <laughs> well, that is kind of heavy. Strange shape we got. Is there any way to look these up? I don't know. Open it up and see what so kind of So this brand of furniture is called Homery, or Homery. And we picked this pallet because uh, Sarah looked up the brand and there's lots of cool, very stylish furniture. Uh, so we thought we'd give it a go because it's all furniture. It's kind of funky furniture. And furniture flipping is our OG side hustle. We used to do that a ton. Uh, we stage it nice and take a nice photo and we can get top dollar for it. So. Yep. All right. Let's see. <laughs> hey, Michelle. Are you sure we can't look it up? I don't see any information anywhere. This will all be a Facebook marketplace, right? Because yes. it's all too big to ship. What is going on? So we can destroy the box? Right well, maybe what not is this the suitcase. Ooh! Okay, some sort of like a sofa table maybe? Okay, we like got brass legs. Table. We'll show a picture. We have to build all this stuff, right? There's no way it balances on two legs. Well... Right? Hopefully it's not all missing stuff, because that would be a huge bummer. What do we have? This one has instructions. Hey, there we go. It's a chandelier, I think. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, wow. Funky chandelier. Interesting. Ooh, hold on, we're, I'm gonna have to eBay this one. Oh wait, it's a sconce. It's like a fancy sconce Very fancy. Sconce thing. For a castle. For a castle. <laughs> All right, so this is looks like a return. What do we got here? Another light fixture, maybe? Oh, it's a floor lamp. Okay. But it looks like it's Bumpy all here. Floor lamp, kind of looks like. Show a picture. Maybe. Yep. Looks, oh no. Okay. It's been returned, but it looks like it's all there. No broken we'll globes, see. but cool. I spend a lot of time putting this stuff together, but that's cool. It looks kind of yeah. '70s, like Art Deco esque. Yep. So when I list stuff on Facebook Marketplace, the key is. Uh, the right title, the right keywords. So mm -hmm. labeling things as like mid-century or modern, um, what people are searching vintage, for. brass, things that you think people are searching for that are popular, if it applies obviously, is what will help sell your item. And sometimes you can score furniture on Marketplace because people just title it like old. Right. She showed me one, literally someone just called it old one time. Didn't I even type say that furniture. in my search all the time. I just type in old because then I get really good stuff because nobody else is searching for that. <laughs> okay, so this is a faucet. Faucet, looks like of it's sorts. all there. Yep. Looks nice. Cool. And a bonus, bonus box. Two faucets. Hold on, maybe? can you put that back oh, in there? Yep. yep. Okay, and. Another faucet. Yeah, that looks, that looks like it might be missing something. But... It's white, white and brass. Yeah, it looks like something should be there though, right? Maybe. Maybe the weight. Oh no, the weight's there. I have to look for. Interesting. Look that up, but okay. we'll save that for our Airbnb property. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you guys follow along our rental business, which is how we got started and everything, we are considering selling some of our rentals and getting into the Airbnb game. So if any of you out there have any advice or want to follow along, let us know. Um, Cause that's what's our next project. I think. We got a chandelier, a very funky chandelier. <laughs> eBay though, right? For that eBay stuff? eBay will be okay. The shipping will be rough though on Yeah, that. shipping will kill us. But, so very this is a very looking. modern chandelier of sorts. Would you rather get more chandeliers or faucets? Because this looks like a faucet. Uh, I think faucets, I don't know. They're both kind of hard sells. Mostly because there's so many of them out there on eBay. This one's a black one. Nice. Looks like it's all there, unopened, brand new. Brand new faucet, okay. So, cool. It's like a TV stand, but it's very light, so it can't be that. <laughs> but the picture is a TV stand. Okay. Okay. 
shouldn't say very light, but definitely too it's light. It's too light right? to be a TV stand. Yeah. No, oh, no. No, it is. It's in there. Is it? Yeah. I think. What? What is this? I don't think so, babe. What were you excited about? No, it's a TV. It's like a very minimalist TV what? stand. What? There's no stand in the TV stand. Oh, I've never seen you be so optimistic before. Oh, there's no, yeah, there's no top. No tip. Bring your own tabletop, maybe. <laughs> Where would it be though? Maybe it's in another box. Shoot. Cause like it looks unwrapped and it has hardware. Yeah. What do we got? Super big boxes. I was not expecting that, were you? Not really. That's... Holy Whoa. cow. A that giant. That is a giant. Huge light fixture guys. Here, let's that see if we can show them. A mansion. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like how many light bulbs here? Like 10 light bulbs for like over a fire or over a dinner table. More than table. that. Yeah. Sweet. That's cool. That's cool. Wait, let's see a picture. I don't know if it has a finished picture on it. Oh, that. no, it doesn't. Yeah. We're going to have to look all this stuff up, but. This feels very heavy. Like a tabletop of some kind or. Okay. All right. Let's see. Wowzer. Piece of granite. <laughs> what do we got? I don't know. Wow. It's beautiful. Holy smokes, it's gorgeous. Look at that slab of wood. Is that That's all it is? That's the underside. <laughs> really? Yeah, here. What? It's the non-polished side. <gasps> it's all so right, pretty. Guys. Let's see what we got here. It might just be a piece of wood. Oh no. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's just a tabletop. What? Are you serious? Yep. Oh, it's got a big old dent. So it's not going super great. That was a bummer. <laughs> we got a tabletop, no legs. And then we got a TV stand with no top and they don't fit together if that's what you're wondering. Maybe we could cut the top of this and put it on top of the TV stand. I guess. It's such a pretty this piece of This is like a solid wood. like butcher block almost. The other, the black, the finished side has a big gash in the front, so. Hmm. We'll see guys, I don't know. I don't know about this one so far. <laughs> Huge boxes here. Three of three it says. Three of three, uh-oh. Okay. Is it the same thing? No, it's different. This? But. Whoa. Whoa. This is like a countertop or something. Is it? It's a heavy. Something. Piece of furniture. Piece of black. There's no screw holes around it or anything. Yeah, what? Weird. Hopefully that has something to yeah, do with what's, these. What's that? I don't know. That's a giant box. I was thinking that was a couch okay. when we bought it. So, do you think it's this Sarah goes did some with that? research. This box, I think, goes with this one. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It says three of three, though, so I don't know if we're missing. Yeah, I don't know. The third, but we have two of them, maybe. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, it's heavier than a couch. It's got to be like a console of sorts, a and cabinet. that's the top, right? Yeah, it's got to be a cabinet. How can I help? Well, I don't know, but I don't know if we're going to be able to set this one on the table. I don't think so. It's a giant cabinet, guys. All right, let's open it. How you feeling? <laughs> I'm nervous. This is kind of a make or break of this whole palette, so. Yeah, I think so. If we, if it's nothing, then we got nothing. Yeah. Oh, I know why. Okay, I have a theory. I think that first wooden piece that had the black yep. on it, there was like a dent in it this big yep. and she, I think that's what she refused to scratch. That was the only one open because this one's never been open or this one. So okay. I think we have all three pieces. All right. I sweet. just have no idea what it is. Okay. All right. What is Got it? Got something here. It looks shiny. I don't know. Shiny? Yeah. Okay. See, that looks like a standalone piece of furniture, doesn't it? Like a TV console. All right. That's worth something though. That, I mean, that's brand new. This one is not scratched. So we just gotta figure out what the other pieces are for, mm. right? Yeah, weird. It's nice we don't have to assemble it. So we have to do a lot of research to figure out what all this stuff is worth um, and what pieces we're missing, if they can be salvaged and get to putting some stuff together. I'm gonna have to eBay all the like faucets and light fixtures. light fixtures, things like that. And then furniture will be Facebook Marketplace. But it doesn't feel like we have a lot of full pieces here. So yeah. 
We gotta do some more investigating and then seeing what we can maybe piece together and this, figure out. This is definitely our <laughs> biggest item or worth the most money. Yep. But it's all in the eye of the beholder. Like it may be a two thousand dollar console, but right. Someone someone the most, has to pay yeah. that or or half yeah. that. But like if we could get three hundred dollars for this, I'd be. I think we'd be lucky. I'd be yeah. lucky or happy at least. Yeah. So the other way we're making money with a lot of these items is by actually reviewing them on Amazon. If you follow our channel at all, you know that's another thing we do. A lot of those items will be able to do that as well. Um, so like for this example, if it was a thousand dollars and we someone watched our video and then bought it, uh, we would get maybe what like twenty to forty bucks for right. it. Right. So, Every time someone watches it and buys yeah. it. So. Um, and all we really have to do is show it off, kind of show details of it, how it works, what we like about it. Mm -hmm. um, the review part of this has really been a really good side gig for us. So we highly believe in it. So if you guys have not started mm -hmm. reviewing Amazon products, definitely get in that game because every single day we wake up to money in our account from it, mm -hmm. from videos that we made from like last summer. So it's like a side gig to our side gig, <laughs> yeah. side gig to our side hustle. Yes. Anyways. It all works together. All right, so I'm out here trying to salvage this piece of furniture. Um, it's pretty low. It's actually a TV stand, we found out. Um, too low to be a sideboard, which those typically sell more, or credenza on Facebook Marketplace. But we had these legs about at auction a long time ago for a couple bucks. So I'm actually just putting them on the bottom here. And then when it tips up, it's going to be tall enough to be considered a sideboard credenza. I thought the glossy gold fit the glossy black. And um, then we're gonna wheel it inside and stage it. So we're going from having like maybe a $150 piece here to maybe a $300 piece with these legs. So it's gonna help us recoup our costs. It took a little bit of extra effort, but we're doing the best with our situation. But if we can get 300 for this, that's gonna pay for almost half, half the pallet. So help us recoup some of that money and we'll just sit and wait on some of that other stuff on eBay. All right, so we did some more research on all of these items. It is mostly light fixtures and faucets. Um, which sell okay on eBay. The sell-through rate is about 20%. Um, the MSRP is not quite as high as we normally like it. The sideboard is definitely gonna be a Facebook Marketplace listing. Um, I'm hoping to get 200 for that. And then we have a couple of tabletops here that didn't come with any legs that I'm gonna be looking for legs at auction um, this week. So this palette might take us a little bit of time to get through, but I think we'll still make a little bit of money on it. Um, but I don't know if we're into the the homery palettes because it's very strange items and not very high MSRP like we thought. So that's okay. It was fun to try and we're still going to make money, but it's going to take a little bit of work and some patience. So sell through rate on eBay is when I can look up an item for what it's selling for and then what it has sold for in the last 90 days. So if there are 100 listings on eBay currently, and only 20 have sold in the last 90 days, that has about a 20% sell-through rate. So that's what sell-through rate means on eBay. Um, typically, I like things to be quite a bit higher than that for a sell-through rate if I'm buying things up to resell, like at thrift stores. So these items should sell, but they might take us quite a bit of time. I might be sitting on them for a while, but we will get our money back. Um, I just have to be patient. So be sure to check out our palette playlist if you're interested in more content like this. We'll see you next time.